today I've got a haul of the goodies I picked up in London and a couple of things I bought in Greece on my holidays. I went over saying to Camilla, I'm not going to buy anything because I've got so much makeup. And then I just unpacked everything and it's quite a lot because I have no self-control apparently. So yeah, let's get started. First off are a bunch of things I bought at Selfridges. Now, Selfridges is one of my favorite places to go beauty shopping because not only do they have their premium department with all of the like amazing high-end beauty brands like Tom Ford and Charlotte Tilbury, but they also have what's called the Beauty Workshop, which is a whole section in the store full of more independent and interesting beauty brands. One of those brands is Way, which you can also order from Cult Beauty. And I picked up two things. One is a full size of the Wave Spray, which I absolutely love. I used up the entire travel size one recently, and I'm already, I've am already i already made a dent in this one. It's just such a good Wave Spray. I put it on to damp hair, gives my hair a little bit of texture, a little bit of grip, really good for when I'm curling it, or if I'm just letting it air dry, and I love how it smells. And then I also got the dry shampoo foam, which is quite weird. I've used it two or three times. The first time I had great success. The second time it made my hair look really greasy and heavy, um, but I think I used too much. So I'm a little bit scared of it and I haven't quite found my groove with it, but I've seen some demos online that look amazing. So I'm gonna keep persevering. Selfridges is also home to the only IT Cosmetics counter in the UK. So I went and I purchased um, a darker shade of the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. I've spoken about this a lot, I think it's been in favourites. And I just really love it, it's also got SPF 50. This is the shade Medium Tan, by the way. I normally wear medium. Next, from Charlotte Tilbury, I bought this, which is the Legendary Brows Eyebrow Gel. The reason I was quite interested in this, and I'm not sure you'll be able to tell, it's got a teeny, tiny, tiny little brush. Which I thought would be really good, because I have very little in the way of brow hair, and what I do have is fine as anything, so what I often find is when I'm using a brow gel, it kind of dumps a whole lot of product onto my skin, and then I sort of have to scrape it through my brows. It's just a bit of a hack to be honest, so I thought that this would be a good solution to that problem. I do find though that it is kind of the other extreme where I hardly get any payoff at all because the brush is so small. I think maybe the truth is that with brow gels you just have to have eyebrow hair to begin with, otherwise it just doesn't work that well. I get a very subtle effect which is fine, I just wish that they did more for me in general. This is the shade Bridget by the way. And then finally, I picked up a beauty blender, which might sound like a random purchase to you, but I have never, ever, once used a beauty blender. I saw it in the beauty workshop and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Camilla raves about it. I personally use the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, but I thought, let me see what all the hype is about. So I might do a first impressions video on this, we'll see, but I'm very interested to see if it lives up to the hype. Next, I went along to Liberty, which again, is just one of my favorite beauty halls in London. They have the best stuff. Also, lots of interesting, more independent brands. They don't have like big S.A. Lord counters or anything like that. They have really cool, iconic indie brands. First up is a hair product from the new Hair by Sam McKnight range. Sam McKnight is a very famous celebrity hairstylist. He's been working in the industry for many, many years, and so there are understandably quite high expectations about this range. I believe there are four products in it at the moment. I bought the Modern Hairspray, which I didn't think I'd go for. I thought I would go for the Lazy Girl, which is, I think, kind of like a texturizing spray, like a Kate Moss hair thing. But when I tried them in the store, this is the one that impressed me the most, because it's kind of a perfect cross between a hairspray and a texturizing spray, but it's completely be matte and it doesn't leave your hair sticky. It's really really nice. I've been using this a little bit. I probably should put a bit in my hair now because I haven't got any. Then I bought this because I saw someone else buying it. Isn't that just classic? This is something called Mermaid Hair Shampoo number one. I'd seen this on like the Liberty Beauty Instagram account and I love the packaging. It smells like coconuts. Yummo, one of my favorites. And although I know nothing about it, um, I assume it's supposed to make your hair quite beachy. It's the most random shampoo I've ever used in my life, I'm very sad to report. It just doesn't do anything. It doesn't lather up very well. I mean, it might be SLS free and maybe that's why, but it just isn't that satisfying to use and I find I have to use a lot of it to get my hair clean and I have very little hair to begin with. So I'm not overly impressed by that. I wouldn't repurchase, but I'll use the whole thing because money. Then next up, I have been thinking about trying uh, some natural deodorants. Now, I'm a sweaty girl, especially when I'm exercising. So it's not something that I would necessarily replace 
my regular deodorant with when I'm at the gym or I'm running, but I was thinking about trying to integrate a natural deodorant, something that's aluminium free, into my day-to-day -day routine. And I had heard that this was really good. This is the Aurelia Probiotic Skin Care Botanical Cream Deodorant, and this is with Eucalyptus, Lavender and Peppermint, which sounds like a really nice candle as an underarm scent, I'm not really sure, but it's apparently a cream to powder formula, so it actually does go on dry. It comes in a little pot like this and then you basically scoop it out, which some people, like I've read online, find weird. I, I don't. I mean, it's like putting body cream on. Oh my god, it does smell like the best candle. Yeah. Oh man, I want to smell yeah, like it that. Smells really good. It smells like um, Aesop. That's how he always smells. Yes, exactly. It yeah. smells botanical and yummy. So very interested to see how that performs. Next up I went to And Other Stories, one of my favourite shops in London. Not only are their clothes amazing, their shoes are incredible, bought the most gorgeous pair of high heels, and their body care is also beautiful. They do a bunch of different products in all sorts of different scents, and I decided to pick up two of the body creams. These are, this is the Arabesque Wood Body Souffle, and this is Havana Blues. Now, Arabesque Wood is described as deep earthy oud with a twist of citrus. This is the one I'm using at the moment. It's such a lovely, sophisticated, subtle, grown-up scent, and that's the thing I find with all of their body products. None of them are sickly, none of them are over the top, they're all just really beautifully well-balanced combinations of scents. I love this. It's not as moisturizing as I would like. It's not as moisturizing as, say, the Body Shop Body Butters, and when I came back from holidays, my skin was really dry on my body, so that wasn't quite cutting the mustard, but now that my skin's back to normal, it's absolutely fine. This one, Havana Blues, is described as dry tobacco leaves withering among beloved jasmine and ripe lemon. <laughs> oh, that's just, see again, kind of this little gentle punch of citrus, but like not overpowering or too heavy. My hands, I can't it's so I finished up one of their body scrubs and I have another one in my shower at the moment. They are really good, really scrubby, very satisfying to use and also in the most gorgeous sense. And then the last thing I bought on this trip from And Other Stories is the Topanga Waves Body Oil. I use this a lot when I was in Greece because it just smells like holiday, it smells like pina colada basically. It's pineapple and coconut. Endless beach days catching coconut waters and pineapple winds. The people who write these are definitely on drugs, but this smells amazing. It literally just smells like pineapple. Speaking of Greece, when I was there I picked up a few bits from Kores, one of my favorite Greek brands. This is something I have used before. It is the Nourishing Hair Mask with Almond and Linseed. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. Such a good conditioner and hair mask. And then speaking of natural deodorants, I was recommended this by someone. It is the Kores Equisetum 48 Hour Deodorant Antiperspirant Protection with Organic Equisetum Extract. Fragrance free. I was very excited because I love Corey's and I was like, cool, natural brand, it'll be amazing. Used it a little bit, wasn't having amazing results, was like, oh, this is one of those natural deodorants that doesn't work. Then looked at the ingredients list and the second ingredient is aluminium. So not only is it a crap deodorant, but it isn't even a natural one, so literally what is the point? That's going straight in the bin. Then I went to Boots. Okay, just a few quick things. I bought the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil in the shade Blonde Shell. I bought two of these because it is the best. I've been using the next one for a while. It's very good, but it's not better than that. Then I stocked up on the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the shade On and On Bronze. The one I have at the moment, which hasn't dried out yet, is probably four years old. I'm not ashamed to say that. It smells fine. It works perfectly. It does feel a little bit like it's time for a new one. So I bought a new one of those. Then I also bought a new one of the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age, the Eraser Eye Concealer. This is the shade Light. Absolutely love this concealer. It might be my favorite one of all time. It's just so good and I'm just about to run out of the one I had before. Then I bought this. This is Wonder Brow, which I saw on Tati's channel, I think. And it's kind of like a brow pomade, but it's also kind of a tint so that it lasts a few days. We will see. I will give it a shot and see what happens. I bought it in the shade Blonde, which looks like it will work for me, but I'm very interested to see if the whole tinting thing is for real. And then I'd seen a few people online rave about this product and I thought, cool, like I, I want to be tanned before I go to Greece. Uh, and it is the Bondi Sands Liquid Gold Self Tanning Dry Oil in the coconut scent. I haven't actually used this yet, but I, I will give it a go when the weather gets a bit warmer and I'm getting my legs out. So interested to see how that performs. And then I bought this, which I first saw in Sally Hughes' book, 
pretty iconic and it is it's the number 4711 original eau de cologne to experience the superior quality for yourself, splash 4711 Original Eau de Cologne generously onto the hands, rub together, breathe in, breathe out, and relax. What? <laughs> so, you wear it on your hands? That doesn't make sense. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wear it like an old person. This is the bottle. It comes actually in a few variants and a few sizes, but it's essentially supposed to be kind of a very light citrus scent and it's really cheap for a perfume, which is one of the reasons I got it. Also, I really love this bottle. It's so beautiful and so classic. So I'll give that a shot and I'll let you know. And then finally some tools. These are actually from Superdrug. So first up is this from Real Techniques. This is the Multitech Collection Point L brush. No idea what I bought this for. I suppose powder, but it looked really interesting and it looked like a decent size. The bigger one was just way too big for me. So yeah, I'll give that a try. And then finally I got two sponge sets. This one is the Real Techniques Base 6 Miracle Complexion Sponges. And this is a special set of colors and it is an aid of the Marie Curie Cancer Trust. So it's essentially the regular Miracle, miracle Complexion sponge that I love, but in a few different colors. So I basically am just stocking up on something I know I really like. Then they've come up with some new sponges. This is a little set that contains the Sculpt sponge and the Perfecting sponge. And the Sculpt sponge is kind of a weird shape. And the Perfecting sponge is like a little teeny tiny baby version of the regular full size one. And because I do tend to use the sponges for concealer, I thought I would give that one a try and then just see if the shape on this actually makes any difference or if it's just all rubbish. And that is everything I bought. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time. Bye!